Today, we will take a look at how an interpreter works. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss any more informative short tech videos like this one. Let's go! A computer program, also called a binary program, only consists of zeros and ones. Since we as humans normally work with higher programming languages, the source code we enter needs to be understood by the computer. It needs to be translated to a machine-readable code. This could be done by a compiler, as we have seen last week. Another way of making code understandable for your computer is to use an interpreter. We will take this simple expression here as an example. Compiling starts with the lexical analysis. It scans the code as a stream of characters and groups the sequence of characters into lexemes. It would detect our terms A, X and Y as identifiers, the equal, plus and multiplication sign as operators, and the 20 as an integer. Then, it outputs a sequence of tokens with reference to the programming language. Next, a syntax analyzer is used. The tokens that were generated in the previous stage are now checked against the grammar rules of our programming language, so it checks if the expressions are syntactically valid. To do so, it generates a pass tree, as displayed here. This is also called Syntax Directed Translation, or STD for short. Following the Syntax Analyzer, a Semantic Analyzer is used. The Semantic Analyzer takes the pass tree generated in the previous stage as an input. It verifies if the expressions and statement generated follow the rule of a programming language. And then, it creates annotated pass trees. Next, the intermediate code generator comes into play. Our modified pass tree will serve as an input here. It is converted into intermediate code. In most cases, this will be three address code, also called TAC. So simple put, it separates our expression into different subsets of the expression, as displayed here. So far, the process looks similar to our compiler. But here comes the big difference. Instead of generating optimized machine code, the interpreter directly evaluates an efficient intermediate representation after it is generated. This means that the high-level instructions are converted line-by-line line to machine-level language. Some of the well-known interpreted programming languages are Python, Ruby, PHP or JavaScript. Python, for instance, even offers an active interpretation meaning that the programming code can be directly written in an interpreter. Let me show you an example, which you can copy if you like. I'm working with a MacBook here, but this also works with other operating systems. First, you have to download Python. I provided you the link in the video description. Next, you open your terminal on Mac. In Windows, this would be the command line. I provided you a step-by-step -step instruction in the description as well. Now, we simply need to type in Python and execute. Afterwards, we can already experience working directly in the interpreter. For instance, I type in 4 plus 4 and the code gets immediately executed. This is an excellent way to test some code really fast. You do not need any print statement whatsoever, but you simply press the enter sign to execute your code. Now, you should have a pretty good idea what an interpreter is about. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you like this content, Please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next week.